हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सीक्रेट फ्रेंड्स आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो अर्लियर दैट हाउ टू रिपेयर अ यूनिवर्सल कार्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एक्सटर्नल पावर सप्लाई और अ यूज्ड ओल्ड मॉनिटर पावर सप्लाई टुडे फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट हाउ टू रिपेयर ईजिली दीज आल टाइप्स दीज टाइप्स आल टाइप्स ऑफ कार्ड्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्टेप डाउन मॉड्यूल बग कन्वर्टर इट इज फ्रेंड्स इट्स डी ए जीरो वन नाइन एट डैश सिक्सटी वन ई एंड वी कैन टेक आउटपुट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट टू फाइव वोल्ट सो यू कैन यूज एनी वोल्टेज रिक्वायर्ड टू रन यूर इलेक्ट्रिक अप्लाइंसिस फ्रेंड्स हेयर यू कैन शार्ट इट्स टू पॉइंट्स एंड गेट द रिक्वायर्ड वोल्टेज इट्स डिफॉल्ट आउटपुट वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वोल्ट सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई विल यूज दिस टू रिपेयर दीज कार्ड्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल येट काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स कमिंग बैक टू द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स यू नीड टू पेयर ऑफ वायर्स वन फॉर इनपुट एंड सेकेंड फॉर आउटपुट एंड यू नीड अ ट्वेल्व वोल्ट एडाप्टर power supply and friend the next thing is a checking remote panel sensor jack to check the power supply of the card friends i will explain these cards voltage concept and where it goes friends here we enter 12 volt or here is the jack and then these 12 volts come to this 6 pin ic it is a step down ic it will convert these 12 volt into 5 volt and then then to the next to this coil friends the maximum chance that these boards are dead that this ic is short or this coil is blown these two are maximum faults i will show you some cards here friends ic is blown coil is blown next friend look at this here ic is blown coil is also blown so 99% this ic is faulty so you can run your board by using this module so i will take one board and then show you how to connect it any one of these look at this friends its ic is there but it is short and its coil is blown as you can see there now i will give it 12 volt and then see whether it's run or not i will put the remote sensor jack here friends i will give the 12 volt with this adapter and see that whether it's power on or not friends there is no light now i will check the voltage put it to 12 volt dc and i will check the voltage it is negative friends look at the meter its input is showing 12 volt 12.2 volt and now i will check after this coil and look at this there is zero voltage so it's obvious that its six pin regulator ic is not working now we will modify it and use a step down buck converter we will give it 12 volt here at input and take 5 volt output and connect the wires to this coil friends power it off remove the jack we need two pair of wires one for input and one for output
Your response is negative. Next to the positive. The wire to the output section. This is for positive. Fourth wire for negative out. Now, friends, I will connect the other side to the board. Friends, as you can see that this is used for n. Here you can see that n, n minus n plus. So I will give it 12 volt here. I will use this jack for input. Friends, as you can see that here is 12 volt mark, 12 volt and ground. So I will connect here positive to this 12 volt, negative to the other. and its input is connected now I will connect the output I will use this capacitor negative side for the ground negative to this capacitor negative and friends I will give the positive 5 volt after this coil and look at this this is entering its and here it's out so I will connect its out after this IC and this coil on this outside as you can see the connection I will explain it again here is friends input you can read it here is in its plus and minus I have soldered it says 12 volt and here ground in are connected here and its output plus and minus minus is connected to the this filter negative side and plus after this 6 pin IC and this coil out here I have connected it here now friends I will check the voltage that how much voltage it is outputting I will give the power 12, 12 volt here Friends, here is its inside negative and positive point. Friends, look at meter. It's on the inner side. It's twelve point one eight, and now I will check its output.
friends its output is 1.25 volt it is very less we will need 5 volt friends we will need 5 volt so here is the trick power of it look at this it is 1.5 volt it's 1.5 volt 1.8 2.5 3.3 .3, and 5 volt i will short these two points and it will output 5 volts Friends, I have shards, it's 5 volt point. Now I will again check the output. I will give the power and check it's on its output. Friends, look at this, it is giving 4.85 volts, nearly 5 volt. Now I will check the board by inserting its power jack sorry it's a remote sensor and keyboard jack keypad jack that whether it's on or not i will power off insert the keypad jack here is its stand it's light i will give the power Look at this friends, the standby is light on, is on, now I will power on, press the power key, here is the power key, I will press it, friends look at this, our board is ok now, standby light is released and the board is working now. Friends, look at this. I am pressing the channel key and it's lighting up. Friends, this is how we can easily modify the board with this small module. So you can easily repair all the boards that are all like this. Friends, I have made a video before that how to repair the these universal boards with the help of a lcd monitor power supply and also show you how to use its inverter section and run this board and now friends i have show you how to run the card with the help of this little module friends i hope i hope you have liked my video so friends keep watching my video and like and share my videos thank you friends